Hello everyone, welcome back to Wet Bites. In our last video, we have discussed the basics of anatomy of respiratory tract starting from nostrils to lungs. Let's go into physiology. Now just take a moment, breathe in, breathe out. What you guys did just now is called as ventilation. Ventilation is the process of exchanging gases or act of bringing air into and expelling air from lungs. Mechanism of ventilation or respiratory cycle occurs in two phases, inspiratory phase and expiratory phase. These occurs with the help of respiratory muscles. Major muscles of respiration are diaphragm which is doom shaped muscle placed between thoracic and abdominal cavity, external intercostals which is located in between the ribs and the muscle fibers are directed cardioventrally. Internal intercostals which is also located in between the ribs and the muscle fibers are directed cranioventrally. First phase is inspiration which is inflow of air into lungs. It is an active process. Contraction of external intercostals causes outward and forward movement of ribs and hence the transfer di diameter of the thorax increases. Contraction of diaphragm causes decreases in the anterior convexity of the diaphragm. Hence, the longitudinal diameter increases. The lung shows increase in the volume. If the volume increases, pressure decreases. Pressure inside the alveoli becomes subatmospheric. That is, the pressure is below the atmospheric pressure. This pressure gradient favors the flow of atmospheric air into the lungs. Next phase is expiration, which is outflow of air from lungs. Contraction of internal intercostals causes inward and downward movement of ribs and hence the transverse diameter of the thorax decreases. Contraction of abdominal muscles forces the diaphragm and causes its relaxation. Diaphragm returns back to its original position and hence longitudinal diameter decreases. So the volume of the lung decreases and pressure increases. The intraalveolar pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure which causes the expulsion of gases from the lungs. Expiration occurs generally as passive process under resting conditions but active expiration is seen during exercise, coughing, barking or when there are any impediments to outflow of air in the respiratory tract. In case of horses, the process is always active even under rest. Next is types of breathing. There are two types of breathing, abdominal, costal. In abdominal breathing, visible movements of abdomen is seen. In costal breathing, rib movements are seen. The abdominal type of breathing predominates during normal quiet breathing. During painful conditions of the abdomen such as peritonitis, coastal breathing predominates. Similarly, during painful conditions of the thorax such as pleuritis, ab abdominal breathing is apparent. Respiratory rate which is number of breaths per minute for different species of animals are cattle 26 to 35 per minute, horse 10 to 14 per minute, sheep and goat 20 to 34 per minute, dog 20 to 34 per minute, cat 20 to 40 per minute. These rates varies with age, sex, body size and during active or during rest and in pregnancy and in other environmental conditions. The oxygen is obtained from inspired air in lungs and the various tissues and cells produces carbon dioxide as their waste product. How oxygen reaches these cells and tissues and how carbon dioxide transports back to the lungs? Let's discuss them in next video.